In this video, I'll demonstrate how to find power ground shorts in a hierarchical def database. In the first step, we'll generate a default left def mapping file. In my run script, I've set up my left def data that I use in the FTI to Oasis command to generate the map file. FDI to Oasis generates a left def mapping file based on the inputs. This maps all of the left def objects to Oasis layers and data types. Next, we'll modify the map file to output the power ground net. In this example, I'll just focus on the M1 layer. Here you can see the M1 objects map to different Oasis layers and data types. I can check the def special net section to find my power and ground net names. Now I'll modify the mapping file to include specific mapping statements for my power and ground nets. Next, I'll update the run script so the FDI to Oasis command uses the new mapping file and the output Oasis will have the objects mapped as I want. In Design Rev, you can see that the power and ground nets and other objects were mapped to different layers as specified in the map file. In the next step, we need to create a caliber rule deck that will map the layers and find the shorts. The rule deck needs to map the FDI output layers to a caliber layer name. Next, we need to use some simple Boolean operations to find the direct shorts between VDD and VSS shapes. And lastly, we need to define the rules to find bridging shorts between VDD and VSS shapes. On the fourth step, we need to run Caliber DRC on the mapped Oasis. I'm updating my run script to run Caliber using the rules that I created in step three. In the last step, we'll debug the results generated by Caliber. I'm launching Caliber Design Rev to view the Oasis and the results. Three short violations are reported in RVE, uh, two bridging shorts and one direct short. I'll look at the direct short first. This direct short is between VDD and VSS colored red and green. This short wasn't detected in place route because the abstract didn't include all of the routing information. Next, I'll look at the via bridge short. This is related to the direct short I just looked at. And lastly, the left pin bridge short. This is again leading me back to the same direct short violation. So there's two bridges and a direct short in this location. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.